I'm Aaron Baker, Shield Healthcare Spinal Cord Injury Lifestyle Specialist, and this is Mobility in the City, Seattle. I just landed here at the Seattle Tacoma Airport. I'm gonna go explore this beautiful city of Seattle, all from my wheelchair. First, I'm gonna take the Link Light Rail into town. I get it right here at the airport. It's just a short stroll away. And only for a couple of bucks, I can get right into downtown. It's not all easy. It smells good in Seattle. I like Seattle already. In downtown Seattle at Pioneer Square, it can't just be one elevator, it's gotta be two. In the historic Pioneer Square area, we immediately encounter two attractions that are unfortunately not accessible. The popular underground tours and the amphibious duck tour. Note to self, Seattle has hills. I really wasn't expecting to have to come down a hill this steep, similar to San Francisco. But for me, my hands aren't real strong, so coming downhill is really technical and quite dangerous. So I put my feet out front of my chair. They act kind of like an emergency brake. I don't recommend trying this technique at home. I've got 18 years of experience, and this is my way of slowing my wheelchair downhill. That was sketchy. Hell of a way to start the trip. Okay, now we're off. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> These hills are steep in Seattle. In order to get to the legendary Pike Place Market, I'm gonna get on the E-Line bus transit, got my Orca card loaded up for a day pass. So here's the stark reality. I really want to get down to Pike Place Market, but this hill is no joke and it's really dangerous. I don't advise doing this alone. I'm going to use help because this is way too steep for my comfort. Let's do it together. Teamwork. These bricks are not wheelchair friendly, but we made it. Going down under the streets of Seattle to go to the gum wall. Pretty nasty, huh? Just added to the nastiness. These cobblestones and bricks are not easy to get around on. Luckily, I found an elevator. There was an elevator right there in the alley. Too bad I didn't see that coming down. Headed up to the streetcar now to travel across town get to our next destination. Once again, it's gonna take teamwork to make the dream work. In order to get up this hill, I've got Carl with me from Shield Healthcare. He's gonna be my, uh, my power up this hill. Let's roll. <laughs> nice. Feel the burn. Last little no. Oh, Carl, you're the man. So even though I hit the little ramp request button on the outside of the train, the ramp didn't deploy. And so there was like a three inch gap that I can wheelie up, but I couldn't push myself up it. So sometimes technology doesn't work and you've just gotta be willing to roll with it. Actually, the conductor came right over, was surprised that the ramp hadn't come out and was very helpful. Overall, it was a very nice ride. This is all right, we decided to come over to Lake Union Park to get a little of the quieter side of Seattle. They've got the Museum of History and Industry and the Center for Wooden Boats. We've been cruising around the city all morning, but I think the best place to go is on top of the needle. We're gonna take the streetcar back downtown to where we were before. And from there, we'll hop on the monorail to the Seattle Center. FYI, the monorail is cash only. Just got over here to the Seattle Center. There's the Glass Museum. 
The Chihuly Garden and Glass Center. The Museum of Pop Culture, also known as Mopop. And of course, the Space Needle. We're gonna go up to the top and see the view. Space Needle. Nice. Now that we're up here, how do we get out to the deck? Nice handy little thing right here. This is accessibility in the city. How often do you use this thing? Uh, really? Makes it easy. This is the view. Beautiful, huh? As beautiful as this view is, it's reminding me there's a lot more to see. Let's keep going. From here, we're gonna catch the bus back downtown. Roll a few blocks and head out towards the water. Whoa! Came around that corner a little hot there. About to go down this uh, steep hill. Definitely gonna take two feet out for my emergency brake. I need a helmet, huh? Tickets. I'm going over to Bainbridge Island across the Puget Sound. This is a commuter ferry. You can see a lot of cars and tons of people. What a sweet little island. Haha, <laughs> cool. Look at that. Thanks for including me. We're going. Cheers to an amazing day in Seattle. I'm having myself a nice fresh caught piece of salmon and enjoying a nice glass of wine at the end of the day. So, cheers Seattle. Wait, what time's the last ferry back? Yes, make sure you check your schedule. We almost missed this boat. Now I'm back on the ferry to head back across the Puget Sound over to the city. It's a beautiful place to visit and I highly recommend coming here to Seattle. Don't let the wheelchair scare you away. For the most part, it's really accessible. But let's get real. It wasn't all that easy to get up and down the hills. Some of the streets are cobblestone and some of the places just aren't accessible. But I hope I have inspired you to get out into your city despite the wheelchair and explore. I'm Aaron Baker, Shield Healthcare's Spinal Cord Injury Lifestyle Specialist and this was another successful mobility in the city. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.